So if you go inside of Patcher, there's a Patcher plugin called Yodasaw, and you access that by going into the presets, XY's Labs, Yodasaw. And basically what this does, it plays chords for you. This could be a huge help in terms of hitting just one note on your keyboard and this plugin coming up with the chords for you. So the way that this works, you could select whatever key that you want to play your song in. Right now, let's just keep it basic and leave it in the key of C. However, I should point out that you could go into the map and you could go into these individual plugins like Harmless. Once again, I have FL Studio Producer Edition, so I actually don't even have Harmless, but it allows me to use this in trial mode. And you could adjust the settings and the presets in here. Same thing with GMS. Definitely don't underestimate those two plugins, but say you have plugins that you'd like to use yourself, like third-party plugins. Well, this is the way that you would do it. So as you can see in the piano roll, it's literally just one note that's making those chords. But this burn to MIDI option allows you to see all those notes. And then not only that, it will allow you to manipulate those notes so that you could change up the chords manually. But I think that's a great way for beginners to really learn what's actually going on with these chords and have a device that plays chords for you. So you're really killing two birds with one stone there where you speed up your workflow and you learn at the same time. So to do this, you go into the map section, click and drag this key mapper over here, and you're going to route this to FL Studio and you're gonna select port zero. There's actually two of these. Do the same with this one. And then it's really simple. All you do is just right click and select burn to MIDI. Let's burn this to a new pattern. So now here we are in pattern two and voila, you have all of your chords Yoda saw was playing. But what's really great about that, like I said, you could add your own third party instrument. We're gonna cut this away from our patcher and paste this into addictive keys. And now let's listen to how accurate this is. One hundred percent accurate. So that allows you to go in here and really look at what it's playing, manipulate the notes. You could change any of these around. So for example, let's just take all these middle notes and transpose these down an octave. And now we have more open notes. But there's another practical use for this as well. So let's highlight all these and delete. Hit this cog wheel right here and you'll know that FL Studio has an arpeggiator. So let's set this to three and let's go up down and let's just hit one note. And once again, you'll notice that only one note is playing, but say you wanted to adjust those arps to kind of make your own melody based off of that arp. Well, here in this case, you would go to your fruity folder and load up MIDI out. This is already set to port zero. Do the same thing in addictive keys in this cog wheel. Go to this plug and cog wheel icon and switch the input port to port zero. Take this note and put it into the MIDI out. And then inside of MIDI out, that's where you would adjust your arpeggiator settings. Again, let's go up, down, range of three. Exactly the same thing, but now we can burn to MIDI. Let's do current pattern this time. And then you'll see this option where it says reset the ARPS direction to off. And we want to hit yes. That way it doesn't ARP the ARP, if that makes sense. And now let's take a listen. And if you wanted to, you can cut this and paste it back into your original plugin. And you could delete MIDI out if you wanted to, but then we're going to have to go into the ARP and turn this off. And like I said, what's great about that, you could go in and manipulate any of these notes. If you're using a plugin like Cthulhu or Nora, those plugins make ARPs for you, but you're stuck with that one note on your screen. However, I believe in both of those plugins, you could go inside of those plugins and change the velocities and so on and so forth. But if you're someone that's used to the FL Studio piano roll and rather work in here, this would be your alternative. So according to YouTube, the next video you should watch is here on your left. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out the video on your right as well. I make new videos every week, so remember to turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I drop a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.